In this video, we are going to see how to create and update catalogs and media files in VMware Cloud Director. VMware Cloud Director has private catalogs, shared catalogs, and externally accessible catalogs. A catalog contains VApp templates or media files in an organization. This helps in quicker deployment of VApps or independent virtual machines since all the images are stored in VMware Cloud Director once uploaded. Let's create a catalog. To create a catalog, navigate to the library section. Select catalogs and click on new. Provide name of the catalog which you want to create. You can also add a description optionally. Once a catalog is created, you can upload VApp templates or media files to it. To upload media files, click on media and others. Click on add. Provide the name of the file which you want to upload and browse it on your local system to upload. Once the catalog is created, you can also edit the name and description of the catalog. Let's see what other operations are available. You can publish a catalog externally. You can also subscribe to an externally published catalog, thus creating a read-only copy of it. To publish or subscribe to a catalog, Make sure your service provider has enabled these settings. You can share this catalog with other users in the organization. You can also review and edit the metadata. You can synchronize this subscribed catalog with the original catalog to include any new changes. You can review the storage policies or change the owner of the catalog to a user in the same organization. While changing the owner, make sure the new owner has the rights to use the catalog. Once a catalog is created, you can upload media files from Media and Other option. Click on Media and Others in the Content Libraries menu. Click on Add to add a new media file. A media file is always part of a catalog. Select the name of the catalog in which you want to upload the media file. Name the file and browse from your system and upload it. You can edit name of the file. You can download a file to your local system. If you have a subscribed media, you can synchronize it with the original media file. You can move or copy a media file to a different catalog. And lastly, you can review and edit the metadata of the media file. If you no longer require a media file, you can delete it from the context menu. You can also delete a catalog. To delete a catalog, make sure it doesn't contain any media files. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching. Thank you.